Again, probably in the same hour too. I'm back again. You know, if you haven't watched my other two reaction videos that I just posted, go watch those right now. Didn't come back and watch this and subscribe because, as you can see, we are at 87 subscribers. Put that bit to 100. Load to 100, man. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Anyway, today I'm gonna be subscribing. I'm not subscribing. Today I'm going to be reacting to Death is the Best Thing That Can Happen to a Rapper's Career. career. And I'll be putting the person who made this channel in the description so you can find that down there. Have a really like, comment, subscribe, and I let's get into this. Dying is the best thing that can happen for an artist's career. Let me explain. Alright, so I know a lot of y'all clicked on this video with either questions or confusion. And I'm going to just be straight up and real. Like, bro, you know exactly what I mean. Like, let's not all pretend here, bro. Like, we all know that death is the best thing that can really happen for an artist's career. Like, just think about all the countless artists that have died and blown up musically after their career. Like, this shit ain't no secret. This is just how it is. And a lot of y'all might be thinking, oh, but Cloud, Juice World, X, and Mac Miller were popular before they died. Yeah, duh. But their popularity before they died and after they died doesn't compare at all before juice world and x died they were respected as good rappers in the game but no one would even dare call them ghosts of the game not even juice but after they died all of a sudden they're legends now and before i really get deep into this video i just gotta say this little disclaimer i'm not trying to disrespect any rapper or human being in this video honestly it's very sad that they died and of course condolences to all their families and i hope they truly do rest in peace but just because they died doesn't make their music any better bro and it's crazy i had to say this shit like i don't know why this became such a popular thing to do but just because an artist died doesn't mean their music got any better it doesn't mean they're a legend it doesn't mean they're a goat in the game bro like people really throw around that legend term very loosely nowadays yeah i get it sad that the artist died but just because they died doesn't mean they're a legend like an artist can make mid or trash music their whole career but if they do end up dying young automatically they were the second coming of mj like a prime example of this i'm sorry i'm not trying to disrespect this man I just gotta keep it real. Little Peep's music is not good in my opinion. It's just not. Like, I truly don't understand how people listen to this man's music. All he talks about is being depressed, lonely, sad, and honestly, it just kills my vibe every time I try to listen to the music. Like, maybe if I was, like, 10 years old, after going through a little elementary breakup, his shit would slap. But at the age that I am at, I just can't imagine myself listening to that music. Now, I know there's a lot of y'all who actually likes that type of music. And to y'all, go crazy with his music. But again, my take is my take. And if I'm being real here, I'm pretty sure a lot more people agree with my take. Nah, game is game is crazy. But they're just too scared to say it because he died. And truthfully and honestly, I know there's a lot of people who didn't know who Lil Peep was when he died who listened to his music after he died and tried to force themselves to like that shit just because he died. And I feel like that shit is absolutely insane to me. Like, I will never understand why we give these artists so much more attention when they die, but not when they're alive. Like, yeah, I get in certain situations you might not know the artist, and hearing about that artist's death might actually motivate you to check them out. But if an artist makes good music and it takes his death for people to realize that shit, Honestly, I feel like that shit's kind of messed up. And a prime example of this shit happening is the wild career of Pot Smoke. Yo, I got merch now. Even better, actually, I got a new brand. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Y'all can go watch the video of him doing that. Got the hoodie and... Let's just all be very real here. 75% of y'all watching did not know who Pop Smoke was before he died. And if you try to lie to me in the comment section, I swear to God, I'm coming to your house and cutting off your dick. Like, nobody knew about Pop Smoke before he blew up. Nobody was really onto the drill scene. Nobody really cared about New York rap at that time. And Pop Smoke was just another rapper trying to get rich. Nobody knew about this man until the day he died. And after he died, that's when people started to get put on. And when his record label dropped his post modern album everybody in the world soon learned who pop smoke was and the reason why was because it was a fucking elite album like i swear to god that pop smoke album was really really good i have not met a single person who just didn't like that album completely and it wasn't just because he died it was genuinely good music and ever since that album dropped pop smoke has been one of the biggest names in the music industry but the only thing is, he's not alive. Paul Smoke has been dead for over three years at this point. And only after his death did he receive any recognition for all the work he put in. All the countless hours he put into the studio. Crazy late nights. All the blood, sweat, and tears that he's put into his craft. And at the end, he never got to see a single bit of that shit. Not one post, not one penny, and not one number one album. All things that he's achieved, never got to see. And I like to say this, R.I.P. Paul Smoke.
Yeah, I rock in that yeah, he has some good music. And that shit, honestly, is crazy to think about. The fact that nobody has really talked about that pot smoke situation is honestly crazy to me. Because there is no reason why a man should be more popular after he died than when he was alive. Especially when he was that talented. Like, pot smoke is a prime example of why I feel like death is the best thing that can ever happen to an artist's career. But notice, I said career. Yes, death is the best thing that can happen to your career. But, in all reality, it doesn't benefit you at all. I mean, you're dead. All the recognition, all the fame, all the money that you will get, you will never get to see or touch. I mean, it's almost like a wasted effort. There's no point in that shit. I mean, yeah, your family can get put on, but at the end of the day, your label is only gonna give them scraps of what you truly receive. And that's even if they give them some shit. Like, a lot of these labels be milking these artists dry of all their music, all their verse, all their unreleased shit that they didn't want released for a reason after an artist died. Like, I mean, you see this shit with so many artists. For example, Juice World died in December of 2019, almost four years from the time that I recorded this video. And since that date, his record label has released four posthumous albums. Four. Not one as a little send away, three of them shits. And if I'm keeping it real, only the first one was good. The second one, in my opinion, just felt unfinished. And tell him about the trend of things, even though the third one isn't out yet, I'm pretty sure we can all predict. When it comes to Juice Girl, it's like, no, I'm not hating on Juice Girl at all. Not at all, but I, I love his music. It's like just a couple of songs. Just a couple. Or so I think. But I haven't listened to Juice Girl in a while, so. Predict that the album won't be as good as the first one. It is probably going to seem like it's unfinished. I guarantee most of these songs that are being put on these albums were either not finished, scraps, or simply just didn't reach their full potential. Now, I'm pretty sure we all know that if the artist was still alive, they would 100% not approve of the record labels posting their unfinished work. But still, these record labels continue to do it. And this happens so many times to so many artists. I mean, X has like three or four albums at this point. He died in like 2018. It's clearly obvious these record labels are just doing this for a bad. Now, a lot of y'all might be wondering what inspired me to do this video. Let's not lie, though. <coughs> that, um, that, come on, what's going on with English? What's going, what's going on with English? That album that he had with Kanye in it, that was, that was, that was an amazing album. You can't lie, that was an amazing album. R.I.P. the ex, though. Big fan. Big fan. And some of y'all might think it's because the generosity made similar video to this, which partially is true. But my true motivation is because I watched this show called Dave. A lot of y'all might know this show, and a lot of y'all might not, but basically, it's about a rapper named Lil Dicky who's trying to blow up in the rap game. And throughout the series, he continually gets better, grows his name, and continually ups his status episode by episode. But then there- It's about that Lil Dicky is a rapper too. <laughs> Like in real life, not just in the show. There was this one episode that just completely changed his whole life in the show. Let me explain. Okay, basically to sum it all up, him and his team were going on tour. At the time, he was at the point in his career where he was kind of mainstream, but like still a little bit underground. Kind of like that middle ground that a lot of artists fall in and just never get out of. So while on this tour, he was still looking for his big break. And while on the tour, in the middle of the desert, his bus breaks down. So all his team gets out the bus. For whatever reason, the bus just blows up. And all his team made out safely. Everybody was fine. But the bus was destroyed. So Lil Dicky and his team leave the bus to go find civilization. And while the bus is still on fire, two people in a random car just pass by the bus and stop to take a picture of it. They realize it's Lil Dicky's bus. They see a fake body laying on the ground, which if you watch the show, you know what that body's for. Like, let's just be real. And automatically assume it's Lil Dicky and just assume that he died. So they take a picture, post on Twitter, hashtag Lil Dicky died. And literally over the next two hours, Little Dicky exploded. He started gaining millions of followers, started gaining millions of streams, basically blowing the f up. And once Lil Dicky and his team found out about what was happening, at first they was gonna reveal that he was okay, but once they seen how much he was blowing up, they let it play out. And they let it play out until eventually they had to call it quits, and they made sure to let everybody know that they were alive. But from that one incident, Lil Dicky went from a mid-major rapper to one of the biggest mainstream artists in the game, off of basically faking his death. And while I was watching this, I couldn't help but think that if a rapper actually faked his death- If you haven't already, just subscribe. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Subscribe! If what happened in the show probably would actually happen. And honestly, I don't think there's really a probably in that shit. Because whenever an artist dies, no matter how good their music is, they always blow up. And 
never fails. And even if they have some smoke perks slash you know Ma's ass music, people will still call them a legend and still say they music slaps, no matter how trash that shit is. And that right there inspired me to make this video. So in conclusion for everybody that's watching, death is truly the best thing that can happen for an artist's career, but it's the worst possible thing that can happen to the artist. And also, just because that artist died doesn't mean their music is good. If they were mid before they died, they're still mid after they died. Nothing changed about that shit. Tired of y'all saying that. It's just not true. But besides all that, that's pretty much it. Follow all the socials, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and live channel in the link in my description. Go cop the brand off brand. Well, anyway, go subscribe to his channel. I have his channel right in the description. You go check out his channel. But anyway, for me, you know, I'm stopping him. But for me, hit the subscribe button. Hit it. Like I said, get that bit to 100. Anyway, we gonna journey to 100 subscribers. We gonna get there, no matter what. We gonna get there. And besides all that, like, comment, subscribe, put on post notifications so you get notifications every time I drop another video. And I'm out. Peace. Stay tuned for new content.